Welcome back to the channel everybody where today I have a local YouTuber that watched the Sloppy Joe video and he was so interested in making this recipe he is bringing over 20 pounds of ground beef. He ended up bringing 10 pounds of ground beef shaped into hamburger patties that he once cooked up over the fire on the grill. Now he's not going to finish making these here he's just wanted to get the hamburger meat cooked and get it seared up and get that extra flavor onto the meat. Then he's going to take everything home and make batches of it and freeze it. We're also today going to be making a what's called a poor man's brisket. I was mistaken the last time I spoke. Instead of having a chuck roast, we have two chuck steaks that we're going to put on the smoker. It's going to be equally delicious. It doesn't have to be a chuck roast. So I guess we're not doing a poor man's brisket. We're also going to be throwing on a little piece of tuna some Italian sausage for some spaghetti during the week and we're also going to be cooking up some vegetables. We got a long hot cook out there. It's over 90 degrees. Nobody wants to be out there in that heat, but you know what? We're smoking some food, so who gives a crap? All right, everybody, we got to wait for him to get here and then we'll get out there and we'll get everything on the grills, the smoker and the charcoal grill. Let's get this bison chuck steak seasoned up. First, we're going to use your typical Montreal steak seasoning. And I have some Suckle Busters barbecue rub. We're going to put both of these on it. Let's get this meat seasoned up. Okay, first the Montreal steak seasoning. Get it padded down in there. These should be a couple little pieces for the dog. And let me tell you, he will enjoy them. All right, now the Sucker Buster's barbecue rub. All right, we got our bison chuck steaks all seasoned up. Let's get this and the 10 pounds of hamburger out there on the grill. I'll, I'll meet you outside. All right, let's get this cook started. I got the charcoal already in here. And now we're going to get this stuff lit up. It'll be about 20 minutes. When this charcoal's all ready to go, we'll dump it in. And we'll get this stuff a cooking. We'll get the Traeger on. Get everything on. All right, let's get this charcoal dumped and get ready to get these burgers on. All right, let's get the Traeger fired up to smoke these bison chuck steaks. We're going to get this up to 225. All right, we'll let this baby get heated up. All right, let's get these burgers on. We're gonna just do six at a time. That way we can control the flare up and get everything cooked without burning or singeing them.
All right, let's get them covered up. All right, everybody, let's get this bison chuck steak out on the smoker. All right, let's get this on. We're sitting at 225 degrees. We're gonna do go low and slow with this thing. I have no idea how long these are going to take, but I'm going to put some uh, thermometer probes in them and we'll keep a close watch on them because they are a little bit thin. All right, let's get the probes in, get this covered up and let everything cook. All right, we just flipped these over. They're looking pretty good. Let's get the other side to look cooked and we'll get these cooked about 100 degrees internal. That way he can take them home and when he makes a sloppy joe meat, they will, the meat will finish cooking. All right, it's getting covered back up. We got a long way to go, a lot of burgers to cook. All right, let's get these off and get the next round on. All right, I'll go get the next round. All right, here we have a round two on the grill. All right, we got the 10 pounds of hamburger meat done. Now all he's got to do is take this home, put it in a big pot, add the tomato sauce, the tomato paste, the bell green peppers, and the diced up onions. And he'll have a ton of sloppy joe. Let's give this two enough flip. See what kind of temperature we're looking at on this bison steak. We're at 121 on one of them, and 118 on the other. Still got a ways to go. I'll bring you back later. Sausage is coming along good. I got the bison steaks wrapped up in foil. We have some apple juice in there. And we're going to let these things steam and get super, super tender. All right, let's cut up this tuna that the girlfriend and, and the dog are going to be sharing. Nice little crumble to it. Nice little smoke ring around there. Hope they enjoy it. I know the dog will. He enjoys anything you put in his mouth. All right, let's see if this tuna is doggy approved. I think that's a winner winner. Snowy likes his fish. All right, let's get these unwrapped and see what they look like. Look at that, fall off the bone. That one is equally as nice. Tender. Look at all the juices that we collected here. All right, let's get these out of the foil and get them on the cutting board. 
All right, now we're going to save this delicious juice and make our Jew out of it. Let's try not to spill it. All right, let's get these bison steaks cut up. Yeah, look at that smoke ring. That's going to taste fabulous. Got the bend test, nice and tender. Let's get some of this aju all over it. Perfectly seasoned, nice smoke ring, perfect way to cook bison steak. Now all we have to do is do the inevitable, the taste test. Seasoning is perfect, it's got a little kick to it. Smoke flavor comes out. Very good. I would say this whole cook day was a success. We got the 10 pounds of ground beef cooked for Dan, the real sovereign citizens. I will leave his a link to his channel down in the description. This turned out pretty good. Very juicy, very tender and all around great flavor. Thanks to Dan for bringing this over. Very good piece of meat. Bison is awesome. You gotta try it. All right, everybody, if you're new here, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And to all my regular subscribers, I very, very much appreciate you watching my videos. Until the next time, take care, everybody. And remember, if I can cook it, you can cook it. Stop making boring food. That's all there is to it. Take care, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh no, it's fucking fabulous. It's got a little kick to it, but that's okay. That's what I was going to use for the T bone tomorrow. Yep, there you go. That's what it is. It's got a little bit of kick to it, but it's not overpowering, you know. Can your dog chew them, or are those no, too small? No, we won't, we won't give them any of those. Everybody, this is Dan, the Real Sovereign Citizens. He's the one that made this oh, video recording? possible. Everybody, this is Dan, the Real Sovereign Citizens. He's the one that made all this meat possible. Link, link to his channel will be down in the description. And that's it. Plenty more in there. All right, now Snowy gets his little bison snack. Let's see how he likes it and if he approves. Did you even taste it? 
Right, I got one more for you. Like you always do, you just inhale it, don't even chew it and taste it. But I'm sure it was good. Snowy approved. <laughs>